Hey guys, I'm Jaden Dupree, and today I'm going to show you a bunch of different nine ball runouts, uh, varying in difficulty, and let's just go ahead and get into it. So this runout, really everything is shoot and stop. Uh, so what that means is we just have to shoot, stop our cue ball, and we should be good for our next shot. Uh, there's maybe a few instances where we roll forward or come back just a little bit, but we should stay. If we stay in line, this should be really easy. So this first one is just shoot and stop. And then this next one is also, I might roll it off the edge, but you could also play a shoot and stop. Either way is fine. This one is just lightly roll it in. This one here, I'm going to back it up just a little bit, just like that. This right here is the hardest shot, uh, so we're going to take a little look at this. I want to end up somewhere close to this line. So that's just a roll with some high uh, right English. This one is just shoot, roll forward. Nothing difficult about that. This one you can play it in the corner or in the side. I chose to play it in the corner. Right here this would probably be the hardest shot of them all because I ended up on the wrong side of the ball. Although my recovery was not that great. This is an easily pocketable ball. We're just going to look at it just to make sure. Shoot it slow, just so we don't scratch. And then that was our first nine ball run out, shoot and stop. I made it a little more difficult at the end than I had to because of that eight ball, uh, but very easy. So the reason this run out is harder than the last one is because there's a lot of distance between the one and the two, and the two and the three. Everything after that is real easy, uh, but it's just these first couple shots that are hard. So still an easy run out, just hard first few shots. This first shot, arguably the hardest. I may have made some it harder for myself. No, I didn't. I really didn't want to hit that nine ball. And it ended up pretty straight on this two, although I can force it through the rail, and then from here, everything should be real simple. So this one I'm just going to roll it in. And same for this one, just with more spin to get over there for the five in the side pocket. This I'm just going to make sure have enough spin. Did a bit harder than I needed to. I'm making stuff harder than I need to. But we can just roll it in, reverse our cue ball back over here for the seven. This one I'm going to roll it in with some high right spin. like that. This eight ball we're just going to pocket that, spin back, nine ball, roll it in, no problem with a scratch anywhere. Uh, but that was like, that was an easy run out, but I, got, I again made things harder than it should have been. Uh, and just the first few shots were the hardest. So the reason this run out is harder than the last one is because of this two and three ball cluster right here. It makes it a bit more difficult, uh, but we should be able to break it out really fast with our one ball. So not a difficult solution. Hardest part of that shot is getting pretty much dead straight on the three ball. 
So we can roll forward for this four ball. And I think we did it really well. Just got to roll that one in. I cheated the pocket a little bit to try to get off the rail. This one, you roll it in again with some high left English. Hardest shot right here, six ball. We're on the last few balls. We know we can run this out because we just did the hard part, but we just got to make sure we don't get too much angle on that six. And that's looking good right there. Okay, seven to eight, not the easiest but not hard. I'm going to leave myself a little bit of an angle. And we're going to bring it back and around. So not hard, but not easy. And this one right here, we're bringing it up, back for this nine ball. And that's a good run out right there. So a cluster, but we broke it out from the start with the one ball. Uh, great shot on the two to get on the three dead straight in. And then the rest was pretty simple. Uh, so let's move on. So this run out is harder because we are not starting with ball in hand. We have to start with a jump shot. Not the hardest of jump shots, uh, but any jump shot is difficult. And there's our good start. And that is all we needed to get through this rack. So that shows you that that first shot is the most important. Because that determines if you're staying in line or not. So this shot we're drawing back, leaving an angle on the three ball to play the same shot on the four. We're actually going to play the same shot on the four to the five. A little more difficult here. How to play it off more than one rail so we get a little more control out of it. This one here, I'm going to roll it forward off that rail, leave an angle. I'll come up on the other side of this seven ball. That's pretty good. Drawing that back. Oh, we got a little lucky there. A little lucky there. This one is just a roll in. Don't roll it too hard or you'll scratch in the corner. And this one is another roll in, but we're taking a look at it. And there we have it. So jump shot to start off the run out. Pretty simple, not nothing too difficult, uh, but it's more difficult than the others. So that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please click the like button down below. If you want to be notified when I post a new video, you can click the subscribe button, then the bell icon right next to it. That'll just send you an email and a notification saying that I've uploaded a new video. I want to thank you guys so much for 70,000 subscribers. Uh, so 70,000 is a lot of people. I remember when I was trying to hit my first 1,000, and it took me uh, about a year to hit 1,000, I want to say. And now a year later, we're at 70,000. So if we've grown by 69,000 people in that amount of time. Uh, that is absolutely amazing. Uh, my goal for this channel is 100,000 subscribers. So if we can share the channel, share the video, get 100,000 subscribers, that would be absolutely insane. 100,000 people is a ton of people. Uh, we are almost the number one subscribed to pool 
instruction channel on YouTube. We have one more channel in front of us, Dr. Dave Villiers. He's at 90 something thousand. Makes great videos. Uh, but we're, we're slowly catching up, guys. So share the video on Facebook. Share the video with your pool friends. Uh, if you are a team captain in your APA league, share the video with your team. Uh, if you're just on an APA team, share the video with your team. So thank you guys so much for watching all of my content. I really, really appreciate it. If you have any suggestions, uh, just drop them down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video.